All right, so those of you who have asked questions about this, I'm doing this video just to kind of show you what I went through to design this shed. Um, had a lot of a lot of questions and and a lot of requests for measurements and things like that. And I've offered to give this file to people that that I created to design it. I've offered to give that to people. Um, it does represent uh, about a, about 80 hours of work for me. Um, but I used this program SketchUp to design the shed first before I built it. And as you can see, I really did design it right down to every little detail. And, uh, and I, I do that because it just saves a lot of time for when you're going to, to build it. You know, I, I can grab any piece of this anywhere and get the exact measurements of it at any time. And, and it made it really easy to build because uh, because it was, it, it, you know, every, every little detail was there. Um, so I could cut pieces in my garage and then just take them out there and, and assemble it. And that's pretty much what I did. Um, so obviously the only thing that's not here is the siding. Um, but the siding is just a, it's just, it's a steel siding. And I had those pieces uh, I just ordered those pieces and then I cut them with some clippers as I went along and you can see that in the videos. Um, that part's not too, too intricate. All right. So the main question I always get is the measurements on the gambrel trusses, these trusses. And that does make sense because, because uh, that was probably the most difficult part to design, to be honest. Um, and, uh, and so, so I'm happy to go through that. And so in this video today, I'm going to go through that. But I really just wanted to show you, you know, really what my process was. It, the, the idea was to design it here first and then build it out there. And it does take a lot longer, but then when you're building, it's much easier. So in my opinion, this was the best way to go. All right, so I've taken one of those trusses and I've put it right here. And I'm going to go through these pieces and show you angles, the cut angles, and lengths so that you can see the exact dimensions of these gambrel trusses. Um, and uh, hopefully that will make it easier for those of you that are trying to duplicate this. And if you do duplicate this, reach out to me and let me know. I, I would love to see pictures of something like this because this was not meant to be... Oh, and I've had... <laughs> I've had comments of people saying, you know, you shouldn't just put this up here and, and not give us measurements. You know, you should, it doesn't help us to, well, to be totally honest, I wasn't doing this to help anybody else. I put these up here so that my family could see my project because not everybody lives local. So to whoever that one guy was, there's one guy specifically that kind of chewed me out. And, you know, this is not, I, I didn't do this so I could teach other people how to do it because I'm not an expert. Um, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. It's just this kind of things come naturally to me. And so I, I went for it on my own. All right, getting off my pedestal. So, so, but I am, I'm happy to help anybody to understand how to do this, but you have to give me time because I do have a life. This isn't what I do. This is something I did on the side. Um, and, and so, uh, so I'm happy to help out where I can, but sometimes it takes me time to get to it. The other problem I've had with this, because people have asked so many times for, for information, the other problem I've got is that I've gone through three different computers in the time since I've built the shed. And so I so I haven't had access to this to be able to do it. So, um, so there's all kinds of factors here. Anyway, all right, let's, let's get to it. So this piece here, this one here is going to be the exact same dimensions as this one here. Those two are identical, and then of course these two are identical. And these right here are just simply, you know, just a piece of plywood that's been cut into multiple of the exact same thing. These dimensions and these dimensions are identical, and they don't fit perfectly in the shed, but they don't have to. The idea is to support, and that's it. You don't see them, so it doesn't really matter. So if you want to get all technical and make perfect dimensions on those, then go for it. But I didn't, and I don't care. So, all right. All right, let's go through these dimensions. We'll go through this guy first. 
and uh, and hopefully this will help. And this will take a minute because I'm not an expert. I just figured this out on my own and and uh, just like other people trying to build it too. So um, yeah, I, I, just, I just hope it helps. So here we go. So the dimensions of this guide, you can see I've got a, a there's protractor tools. I, there is every tool you can think of in this. I, I really love this SketchUp program. I think it's genius. Um, But it's extremely user friendly, and that's that's really is my favorite part of it. All right, so you got to get the right angle and make sure you get the, the exact corners. So this one is exactly four feet six and fifteen sixteenths inches. So it's almost four feet seven inches. So four feet six and fifteen sixteenths inches. So then this one here, this edge, is four feet four and a quarter inches, okay? Um, so that's the length on both edges, but let me give you the actual cut angles. So this is where it gets a little bit more involved. So to get this angle down here, You have to start, you need to get the empty edge. So the empty edge goes from here to that guy right there. That is the empty edge. So that is the part that got cut off, right? So this angle right here, this angle is a 15. It's 15 degrees. That's what it is right there. So, so from there, uh, the other, other way you could do it is you could go from this edge from straight. Well, sorry. The other way you could do it is from this edge right here. And uh, so you could start on this one and then line it up with that one right there. And that'll tell you that angle right there, right? Which should be the opposite, and it is. It's 73.5. So you add the 15, 73.5, and you get the 100. So, so there you go. So 73.5 is your angle right there. Or if you're cutting from that edge, it's 15. All right, so there's one angle. This one up here, let's do it again. Starting from right there. Going from here to here. And you've got 64. 0.5 degrees, 64.5 degrees, okay? So there you go. So that's that angle right there. I can give you on the other one too. I may as well do that. We can do that one too. So from here over to there. So 30 degrees right there, which makes sense you know you add those up and it's going to be 30. Um, actually I think that's going to be off Hold on one second. You go from there to there 42. No that's not right it's this one here so yeah so it's 30 degrees. Anyway either one of those will work just fine because um, eventually I mean all you're doing is button this up against this guy here right and if it's off just a hair, that's that's not gonna be that big of a deal. But 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 those angles, those are those are accurate. So all right, so let's do this this top one up here now. All right, same thing. Uh, first things first, the measurements. Okay, measurement from that corner. That one, it lines up automatically, so I don't really have to get too close on it to get the detail. But it's 4 foot 11 and 7 sixteenths inches. Okay, 4 foot 11, almost 4 foot 11 and a half inches. So 4 foot 11 and 17 sixteenths inches. 
Okay. Let's go forward with that. All right, the bottom one is four feet eight and five sixteenths inches. Okay, four feet eight and five sixteenths inches. So that that gives you your measurements there. And then for your angle, so this angle is going to be the exact same angle as this one. It's identical. Okay. Those are identical. Shouldn't be any difference there. This one right here. All right. So actually, it's gonna be easier on the other side. Let's do this side. It's easier. So we'll come off of that one first. That edge. And measure it to here. All right, so if you see that, that is 67.5. Okay, so 67.5 to cut out that piece right there. That's your angle. All right, so that gives you the, the angles. Um, and that should help out. Uh, I think I'll spend a little time and I'll put these angles um, in, in the comments we'll see i don't know i don't know if we'll put the time into it we'll see but but this should teach you it teaches you what i went through to be able to design this um it gives you an idea i highly recommend doing something like this before you start a project like that because it's it's quite a bit to think ahead of you know beforehand um the the forethought in a project like this is pretty pretty extensive so i would definitely design it like this all right, you guys, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer questions as I see them come up. Um, but uh, I hope this helps out. Um, I don't, you know, I don't, I, I don't see myself as any kind of an expert here. Um, but, uh, but I, I, you can see little, well, no point getting that, but I don't see myself as an expert here, you guys. I'm just, I just, I, I'm happy to help out if, if I can. Um, but, uh, but this is definitely not a, an attempt to, uh, to teach you how to build this and uh and and you know um it's just to help out if you're going through something similar so all right guys good luck